some blacks don't even like blacks. Let's deal with that. Hey, happy Thursday. It's me, Queen B. I am back again. Last week, we talked about enough is enough with this racism and rioting and all of that. Several, and a lot of people are in the wrong. Um, a lot of people, whether you're doing some protesting that's not peaceful or, you know, you're just a racist. I mean, whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, European, African, if you have racism, then you're wrong, okay? And so let's deal with this. There are some black people <laughs> that don't like blacks. So there's a prejudice among blacks. And so, you know, some blacks have lighter skin and some have darker skin in my family. We have high, high, high light skinned people and then we have some dark, dark people. And so, um, a lot of times some of the light skinned people will communicate to together. <laughs> I'm just saying. And some light skinned people feel like they don't want to communicate with dark skinned blacks. And then you have, um, you have those people that only like light-skinned black people. And so, all of it is wrong. And you know what? When some, there are some blacks that will, they will um, rise to a certain position in society or change their neighborhood. Or they, um, you know, they reach a position of affluence. And they begin to treat other blacks who haven't made it per se indifferent. So I think the word that they use for that is Uncle Tom. And so I, I've heard that when you've got a black person that turns against blacks because now they are up there. And so that's wrong too. Okay. So let's go to the word about this. Uh, let's go to 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. It says, This is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. And so that's not for somebody to misinterpret that and say lighter people are better and darkness is not accepted. Somebody can take this and just turn it and misinterpret it. But anyway... Darkness meaning there's no sin, there's no evilness in God, okay? There's no hate. If we say that we have fellowship with him, if we say that we have fellowship with God and we walk in darkness, we are lying. And there's, we're not doing the truth. We're not even in the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin so if we have light then we're going to have fellowship with one another and so what does fellowship mean according to the Strong's in the Greek translation uh, or I think it's Greek or Hebrew it says the word fellowship means koinonia and it means partnership. It means participation, uh, social intercourse. That's totally opposite of racial prejudice and segregation and all of that. It says you will have social intercourse, uh, benefaction. There will be a communication, a communion, and a distribution. So this is, involves everything, all of you. Uh, your money, your time, your you investing your time and yourself to another race. So, how do you prove you're not you're not racist? You're gonna have fellowship, and fellowship, like I said, it means 
to have intercourse, to participate. And when I say social intercourse, that means you're going to intermingle. It's not going to be a separation. And you're going to communicate. There's going to be a communion. And there's going to be a distribution, a fellowship. Okay? And then 1 John 2, 9 says, He that said he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness, even until your, till now. Your brother is anyone, any Christian on this earth, in this nation. Um, even, you know, if you hate anyone and they're not a Christian, you're still in darkness, okay? And so, he that loves his brother abides in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. So, by you loving, you're not going to be stumbling. People stumble when there's a hate. There was a big disconnect for a man to put his knee on somebody's neck and hold it there for that long and not feel anything wrong. And then those that were standing around the other three officers and not feel anything. That's a, that's a, so, that's a disconnect. There was no love there in none of those people. And then 1 John 2, 11 says, But he that hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and knows not whether he goes because that darkness has blinded his eyes. So if you say that you are a Christian and people do this all the time, even some pastors, they don't even want black people in their churches. You got some blacks don't even want whites in there. And all that is wrong. Some Hispanics, same way. So, if you have a love, there's going to be fellowship. There's going to be a, a social intercourse. There's going to be a, a partnership, a communication. You can't. It don't mix for you to say, I'm a Christian, a follower of Christ, who is love, for you not to love. Something's wrong with that. So you're lying. <laughs> so you're going to bust hell wide open. And you're going to be in the lake of fire and brimstone that burns forever and ever. That's the truth. People don't want to talk about hell these days. It's real. The lake of fire is real. And so... That's, that just boils down to the point. Where, what are you... Do you have a hate so much and you want to hold on to what you believe so much that you don't care about your eternal salvation? That's the question. But you know what? I'm done for today. God bless you. Y'all have a good weekend. And remember, I love you, God loves you, and Jesus is Lord.